Hello everyone, uh, it's David King here. So today we're gonna look at creating a text form field uh, with a show hide for password inputs. So what do I mean by this? You'll be familiar with the paradigm, I'm sure, but if I type in, this is my secure password, I can tap this icon to show and hide that, that uh, value there. And if I, just to show that it all works, if I tap the submit button, I can pull that value out elsewhere in my widget tree. So let's just jump on in and take a look at the source code. It's pretty straightforward, so I'm just gonna walk through the widget tree starting at main.dart. So here I've got a material app with a single root, which is the home page. So nothing particularly interesting there. We can close that. So the home page uh, is just a scaffold with the app bar. I've got a little bit of layout stuff here and a ching single child scroll view, and that's uh, quite important. I'm gonna come back to that at the end of the video. And within that, we have our login form. So our login form is a stateful widget, uh, which contains a form widget, a uh, password form field, and a raised button. So our password form, password form field is a custom widget uh, that I've defined here. And you can see I'm passing in a controller. So let's have a look at that. It's just uh, like any other text form field, it needs a text editing controller. So the reason this has to be a stateful widget is we need to get access to that dispose method to make sure that we're tidying up our text editing controllers like so. So now when we tap that uh, submit button, we're calling this method with the context and we're just making sure that the form is valid. And if it is valid, it's gonna step through this and show a snack bar and pull that value out of the controller. So that's pretty straightforward too. So that password input field or the password form field, again, is a stateful widget that requires a controller. And we're just returning a regular text form field with just some logic uh, in place. So we've got the suffix icon with a tap event being listened to. And that is just toggling a local Boolean value of show password. And that changes the value of obscure text and also sets the icon that is used for that suffix. So either visibility or visibility off. So that's all there is to it. So why is it worth looking at um, looking at this code? Well, there's a couple of gotchas here, actually. Uh, I've seen uh, a few examples where this sort of toggling logic is actually being put on the form itself. So why is that a bad thing? So they're both stateful controllers, uh, both stateful widgets. Um, but basically what happens is anytime you tap this button, uh, because the state's changed, you have to rebuild. So in this case, let's assume all this logic, this widget and all this logic was included in the form itself. Uh, when I tap that button, all the neighboring widgets are also going to be rebuilt. So this button's going to be rebuilt. Maybe you've got a, an email input field, and maybe you've even got an icon at the top, something like that. All those things have to be rebuilt. And it's not necessarily going to be expensive uh, to do that, but I do think it is worth applying best practices. So that's the main gotcha with um, doing a show and hide password field. So the other thing to think about with forms in general, and this is not limited to uh, password forms certainly, is what happens when the keyboard is shown and hidden. So you can see here the available space for that widget uh, was drastically reduced. So I'm just pressing Command K uh, with that focus to show and hide the keyboard. So you can see, yeah, that the available space uh, is drastically reduced. So what I'm gonna do to demonstrate uh, the problem, so I'm just gonna put hello world, uh, just copy this out a few times, wait for it to render. Um, so when I show that keyboard, I can no longer see that submit button. So I need to be able to scroll down. So basically, the long and short of it, forms should always sit within a scrollable view. So here I've just used a single child scroll view to make sure that that is um, not a problem for us. So that's all there is to um, password input fields with a show hide. So two things to remember, all forms should really be within a scrollable widget so that you can access uh, other components, other widgets, uh, when the keyboard is shown and hidden. And then also when you're setting the state, you just wanna try and make sure that you're not rebuilding a lot of the uh, widget tree by accident.
So all this source code I'll push up onto GitHub. I've got the Flutter by repo and the source code will exist within a branch of that. Uh, so just jump on over there and uh, you can get access to that source code. So I hope you found that helpful and until next time, toodaloo.